I'm standing here in front of the Dugard 42 range of machines and this particular model here is the 42i TTU. This is a multi-axis turning centre, it's got two spindles, it's got the capability or it has the, the option of having 10 axes and it is a multi-function turning centre. Now this machine fits in between a sliding head lathe and a twin turret twin spindle turning centre. It sits right in the middle of those two. Your front spindle on this machine is a fixed spindle and the sub spindle is actually a sliding spindle. Now we have a platen arrangement as opposed to a turret arrangement. This is where we can potentially um, improve cycle times because we can move from tool to tool in a very quick succession. It also means that we can do both milling, drilling, um, off center using our, you are using our Y axis as well. So who would use this type of machine? Well, it is a fairly new concept to the market. It's the first time I've actually been in front of a machine like this. And if you were potentially looking at doing complex components, but you maybe didn't want to, uh, to go for a sliding head machine and restrict yourself down to machining bar diameters less than 32 mil. So you wanted to maybe look at components that were, were bigger in diameter than that, but you also needed to achieve uh, complex machining operations. That's where this machine would sit. You'd be looking at doing parts up to 42 mil bar diameter, although there is the option to go up to 60. Uh, complex parts in potentially uh, difficult materials. There is also the option of having a B-axis on this machine and this is on the, uh, the back working platen where it can rotate in order to give you uh, the ability to drill and mill on angles so you can drill uh, angular holes and do potentially more complex features on components. So what controls this machine? Well this is a Mitsubishi M700 control. It's a dual channel control which essentially means you, can, you, you have two sides to the program. So the left hand side of the machine is one channel and the right hand side of the machine is the, is the second channel. And they're both programmed independently but then put together collectively to create um, a one-off program. What we're looking for with this type of technology is to get the back working operation, so the sub-spindle operation, for free. And when you're machining the front, uh, or, or operation one on the front spindle, and operation two on the back spindle, the idea is that you try to tailor or balance the programs in order to, um, to get the best cycle time collectively. The M700 control is actually a popular control. It's, it's, it's GECO based. Um, you can pretty much run FANUC programs through it. There is a few alterations, but if you know FANUC, then the M700 control uh, should come fairly, fairly easy to you. So with any production machine tool, you're gonna to produce swarf. And with this type of technology, you're gonna produce a lot of it. What you've gotta make sure is that you've got a good swarf extraction system. And with the Dugar 42 range, the swarf conveyor comes from under the machine and out to the right-hand side of the machine. Swarf is then extracted into your swarf bin and that keeps your machining envelope or working area free from contamination. Now if you look at the side of the machine now as well, this also gives you a bit of a flavour for, uh, for the size. In terms of depth, well we're looking at 1.9 metres and we've also got 1.9 metres in, uh, in height and we've only got 3 metres or just over 3 metres in the length. So it's a, it's a fairly compact machine again sitting right in between the sliding head lathe and the fixed head twin turret turning centre machine types. So the Dugar 42, um, depending on the, the model you go for, can have anywhere between 16 and 20 tools uh, within, uh, within the, the configuration. Spindle speeds, you're looking at 4000 RPM or the options of having 6000 RPM. Turning length, 250 millimetres. So, we're not talking short components either, we're talking quite long components of 250mm. Um, barb diameter we've already touched on, 42mm with the option of going up to 60 and with the B-axis at the back in order to get your angled holes and your angled milling that can actually rotate 360 degrees. So it's a completely flexible machine, very very versatile, it is the latest technology and it's available from Dugards in the UK. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.